It's close to two months since nodding disease drew the attention of government. This latest saw the woman MP for Kitgum district bringing some children suffering from the disease to Mulago Hospital for treatment. Later on, these patients were taken back to their hometown. However, government claims they dispatched funds to cater for them, although the legislators from the region claim they haven't got any. Not even 1,000 has reached Kitgum main hospital for nodding disease. They further argue that the established centers by government aren't functioning. With particular reference to Kitgum government main hospital, it is not functioning. Despite the fact that it had already admitted 35 children of nodding disease. Now the legislators want the area declared as a disaster prone zone. We shall go ahead and mobilize the people of a Choli sub-region in seven districts to uprise or which we request the government not to make a mistakes to send Kaora, Kaora. Reports from Kitgum and Pader, the districts most affected by the nodding disease head syndrome indicate that two more children passed on over the weekend, while the number of those affected has increased after 388 new cases were registered at a Tanga Health Center between March and April this year. This brings the death toll to 205, while the number of the affected children is 3,526, according to the data from the Ministry of Health, although the World Health Organization country representative Dr. Joachim Sawenka says the number of affected children is about 5,000 in 1,633 households in the four affected districts, which also include the Moor and Gulu. So far, the cause of the nodding disease hasn't been known and the treatment for it is still found. Maurice Chol, NTV.